Now, before we dive in into our real life example and how to perform normalization, let's quickly recap on how to perform normalization. So what are the steps that we need to do? We need to identify the primary key of the table and we need to identify all of the functional dependencies in that table. We need to, to then remove the dependencies and the multi-valued attributes to refine the table to each level of the normal forms being an F1, an F2, and an F3 referring to first normal form, second normal form, and third normal form respectively. Now let's look at this example. So this shows a typical real life example on how the data is going to be stored in the case of an Excel sheet. So we have all of this information, order information containing order date, customer ID for that order, first name and last name and address and all the customer information including the email. We have the salesperson, salesperson name, uh, phone and then we have the product information like the description and price and then the quantity in that specific order. Now to normalize this we need to first check is this in first normal form or not. Now the first, no first normal form says that we need to make sure that there is no multi-valued attribute which is the same again as every attribute is atomic and we need to identify the primary key now do we have any multi-valued attributes in this case we don't see any cell with more than one value so talking about multi-valued attributes check here and check here so we are done in this case now we need to identify the primary key. Can we have the order number as primary key? Now we have repeated order number, so obviously not. We have repeated entries in here, repeated entries in here, obviously repeated entries in all of the columns. So we need a composite primary key compo composed of two or even more attributes. So let's look at combining order number with something else. Since we don't have anything in here, in the uh, IDs of the salesperson and the IDs of the customers, let's look at something else that's an ID. What about product number? Because again, if we use the salesperson phone or the customer email, it's going to be repeated. But now, this specific number, is it repeated for the same order number? The answer is no. Is this repeated for the same order number? The answer is no. Is this repeated? No. So if we combine product number with order number, can we get a unique combination in every single row of this Excel sheet? The answer is yes. So we have defined our key as a composite key of order number and product number. Does this take me to the first normal form? The answer is yes. Because the steps I need in the first normal form is to define my key and to take out any multi-valid attributes. So what is going to be my table in the first normal form? The answer is this is the table. We will call it sales. We will have all the columns in there. But we need to make sure that we highlight the order ID and the product number as our key. So these need to have underlines underneath them. And this is my first normal form. Now when I'm in the first normal form, what's going to be next? Do I just leave it like this? The answer is we need to take it to the second normal form. Now this is my table in the first normal form and I have the is highlighted so I have underlined order number and I need to underline product number so these are underlined now and this is in first normal form now to get it into the second normal form we will need to get rid of all of the partial dependencies first of all let's check up for all the dependencies we can see in this case 
Let's check first for fold dependencies. Do we have any fold dependency? Remember, a fold dependency is when any attribute relies on the fold key. So what is going to rely on order number combined with product number? It is the quantity. So we have a full dependency uh, for the quantity on product number and order number. So this is one dependency, which is a full dependency. Do we have any other full dependencies? The answer is no. Do we have any partial dependencies? So a partial dependency is when something relies on part of the key. The answer is yes, we have a partial dependency on the order number. So the order number in this specific table now remember that we are dealing with what we currently have. We don't jump in advance and say this is going to be the key later on. No, we just deal with what we currently have in this case. Now in this case we have the order number determining the order date, customer ID with the first name, last name and the address and the customer information. The order number is going to also tell me who is the salesperson for that order containing the ID and the name and the phone. So this is one partial dependency. We have another partial dependency, something on the product number. The answer is yes, the product number is going to tell me the product description and the unit price for that product. Now, what do I need to do with those dependencies? I need to get them out of the table. How do we do this? By separating them into their own tables. So to, the, to go to the second normal form, again we said it is the first normal form, but we need to remove the partial dependencies. And we will have the sales table containing order number, product number, and quantity. This is one full dependency. We will convert the partial dependencies to full dependencies by saying product is going to have product number, product description, and unit price. And this is again a full dependency. And then again, order is going to contain the rest of the attributes, and this is a full dependency. And we need not to forget to underline our keys in this case, which is going to help me in the next step. So what is the next step? My next step is to jump to the third normal form. And the third normal form is nothing but the second normal form with transitive dependencies removed. So let's list our tables first. And remember that my keys are order number for this table, product number for this table, and order ID for this table. Now, do I have any transitive dependencies? Remember, a transitive dependency is when a non-key attribute depends on another non-key attribute. So let's look in this table. Do we have something that's a non-key attribute relying on the non-key attribute? The answer is no. Do we have something like that in this table? The answer is no. Do we have something like that in this table? Now look at the customer ID. Isn't this going to tell me who is the customer name, or first name, last name, address, and all this information? So all of those information here are going to be determined by the customer ID. So this is one of the transitive dependencies that I have in this table. Now if we look closely, do we have any other transitive dependency? What about salesperson ID? Does this tell me anything? Now the salesperson ID is what's going to determine the name and the phone of the salesperson. So that tells me that I have another transitive dependency. Now the rule says I will need to take these out, create their own tables, Customer ID is going to be a key for the customer table. Salesperson ID is going to be a key for this for the salesperson table. But then I need to keep customer ID and salesperson ID in the order table as foreign keys. This is the rule of how to get rid of transitive dependencies. So my list of tables 
is going to be the following. I will have order number, order date, customer ID, and salesperson ID in the order table. Customer table is going to have customer ID and all the customer information. Salesperson is going to have the salesperson ID and all of the salesperson information. Now what about the keys? We know for a fact that this is a primary key. This is what we created as a primary key. And this is what we created as a primary key. But the rule says we need to keep these as foreign keys, referring or referencing the tables below. Now, the only thing left is to combine all of those tables and to, to list them all together as follows. Now, these are going to be my tables, and I just need to highlight my keys in here. So the sales is going to have this as a key. This is going to be the key here. This is going to be the key. And this is going to be the key. And this is going to be the key. Now let's not forget the foreign keys. This is going to be a foreign key. And this is going to be a foreign key. Now do you see how we moved from a traditional file processing system which is an Excel sheet into a full database approach we have the full list of tables without going through the requirement collection without going through sentence analysis or document analysis we did not need to go through ER diagrams we jumped right away into the relational model and then we can jump right away from this into coding this into our database and this is one of the uses of normalization